Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we're gonna go over question number 1480, running sum of 1D array. And the problem says, given an array of nums, we define the running sum of an array as whatever this is. And we want to return running sum of numbers. Okay, so let's look at our examples. Um, example one, if we look at our input, we have an array named nums, and it consists of numbers, right? And if you look at number two and three, it also has an array which consists of numbers, numbers only. And the result or the output that we want is an array of numbers again. And what we want to do is you want to add up these numbers as we go through each numbers in the array. So if you look at our first example, we have an array one, two, three, and four. And we want, this is the input and output what we want is an array that goes to each item in the array these are so we have four items um, and then what they want us to do is we want to get the first one because this is the first number and then as the second number we want to sum these two up which is three and then add three to our current number which is gonna be six and then add four to our last number which is gonna be ten so what that's what they mean by running sum of an array. Um, it sounds complicated, but you know, let's go through it. Okay, um, let's solve this problem. So what we know is that we have to return a array of numbers, right? Or sum of the numbers, or running sum of the numbers actually. So what I'm what I'm gonna first do is declare a variable. Um, I'm just gonna name it result. And this is gonna be an empty array and this is where we are gonna push or add our running sum and later we want to return that result array okay and another I'm gonna make another variable uh, I'll name it um, current sum and this is where we're gonna keep the current sum of where we are Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is declare another variable, or actually not a variable, um, I'm gonna make a for loop to go through all the numbers in the array. So let i, oops, i is equal to zero, i is less than nums.length, so that we go through all the array, and I'm gonna increment by one. Okay, and I'm just gonna declare another variable, current value, cv, and this is gonna refer to the current number at index i. All right, looks good. Um, now I want to add my current number to my current sum. So current sum is plus equal CV, our current number. Okay, now uh, we want to push in this value, current sum, to our result array. So we'll do result dot push and we'll push in current sum and if we do that okay nums okay it should be nums at index i and we get our result so let's check so our first one is one three six ten okay one three six ten second one is one two three four five okay one two three four five last one is three four six sixteen seven so there you go you have your arrays here your results here and it looks good okay let's go over our code first thing you want to do is declare function named running sum which takes in a parameter named nums and this is an array of numbers and what we want to output is um array of running sum okay so we know that um we want to return an array of the running sum right and we need a place to store that so what i first did was declare a variable name result uh, you can name it output or whatever you like and let it equal to an empty array and another variable that we want to also make is current sum or you can name it i guess a running sum to be more exact running sum and initialize it here to a zero so what this does is this tracks current sum obviously that's why i named the current sum and we want to go through all the numbers in our array right so i use a for loop here and let's try working with this example so we have three one two ten and one all right 
So if you look at our for loop, we let i is equal to zero and i is less than num side length. So we're gonna go through all the numbers in our array and we're gonna increment by one. So when i is equal to zero, our current value, and I made another variable here, current value is gonna be equal to current number in the array or the number at index i. So cv is gonna be nums at index zero because we're on the zeros iteration. And that number is three, right? Three. And if we go back to our code, I did current sum plus equals CV, right? Current value. So our current sum is currently, current sum is currently zero. And I'm adding three to zero, which is gonna be three. And now, now that current sum is evaluated to three, I want to push our current sum to results array so results was an empty array and now it's gonna have three inside there and our second iteration current value is gonna be nums at index one which is what it's one right one now what's our current sum now it's not zero right it's three it's three and we're adding what to three we're adding this number one plus one which is gonna be four and now we want to push in our result, which is, which consists of a single number, which is three. And we want to push in the number. So it's gonna be three and four. Okay. And this is gonna go on i is equal to two. Um, when i is equal to two, current number is two. And current sum is gonna be four plus two, which is six. And our result array is gonna be three, four, and six. So we keep doing this. I three is gonna be 10. Um, current sum is gonna be 10 plus six, which is 16. Result is gonna be three, four, six, 16. And our last iteration, when I is equal to four, the number is one. And our current sum is gonna be 17. And now our result array is going to be three, four, six, 16, and 17. And we're done with our loop, right? Cause we have one, two, three, four, five numbers. And we went through all the numbers in the array and we have a result. So what the code is gonna do is, it's gonna exit out of this loop and return this result. So result return three, four, six, seven, 16, 16, and 17. And that's how we get our final result.